Hey, a few videos ago, I said this. If you're trying to imagine how this actually does taste like, um, well, for those of you who have tried this beer called Whole Garden Wheat Beer, this tastes 95% like that. And because I said that, let's see if the Edelweiss is really, really similar to the Whole Garden. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, I once proclaimed that the Edelweiss tasted 95% like a whole garden at a much, much cheaper price. So for today, let's put it to the test. Now obviously, this one is in, in a bottle, uh, this is in a can, so you know there's going to be some price difference. However, the whole garden, I got it at $4.75 Singapore dollars per bottle. Right? This is a 330ml bottle and it comes with 4.9% alcohol content. The Edelweiss, I got it at well, eleven ninety Singapore dollars for four cans. Essentially, it's around three Singapore dollars per can. Likewise, it's a three hundred and thirty mL size and four point nine percent alcohol. So, in terms of volume and alcohol content, identical. And of course, in the interest of fairness, there is going to be a glass of water to help me cleanse my palate so that. There is no confusion over the taste. Starting with the OP, Whole Garden. This is a Belgian wheat beer. It is a wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel. I had one beer with coriander before. It wasn't impressive. Uh, this gives you instructions on how to pour the beer. Number one, chill the beer. Very chilled. Number two, pour two thirds. Number three, swirl the bottle and then top off the glass. So I shall pour it to the full. The Edelweiss, however, it's a lot simpler. It's um, wheat beer with a hint of mountain herbs. Uh, it doesn't say anything about orange peel. It doesn't say anything about coriander. It does, however, says it includes apple extract. Whole Garden first. So as I mentioned, pour two-thirds of the bottle out. I like to pour such a way that the foam is in the glass, not in my stomach. And then while I'm waiting for the foam to settle, swirl the remaining one-third and then pour it out and enjoy. Now I like the fact that it gives a very nice frothy head. Uh, you know, generally the bigger the head, it tends to mean it lasts longer in the back of your throat and it, you know, it finishes really well. So I'm very, very hopeful for this already. I'll let it settle before I top off the rest. I don't like to make a mess on my dining table or my wife will kill me. Otherwise, uh, no such instructions on swirling, so we'll just go all in. As usual, you know, we'll try to pour in such a way that the foam is in the glass, not in my stomach. And immediately, you can see a very noticeable color difference. Yeah? I'm sorry. While the whole garden is a cloudy, uh, you know, pale color, it's, it's, it's more white and cloudy, the Edelweiss is amber and clear. So, that's the part that surprised me previously for the Edelweiss, but let's see how the taste is going to be. Scent first. Noticeable wheat beer scent. Uh, I can smell some citrusy, you know, um, and it took a long time for the foam to settle, so this is something I'm going to enjoy a lot. Edelweiss smells more fruity compared to the whole garden. It smells actually sweeter than the whole garden. I'm salivating because of the sweetness. Taste test. Whole garden first. <laughs> and 
and Edelweiss. Okay, review time. So, this one comes with coriander and orange peel. I don't taste the coriander, thankfully. Um, but it does taste very citrusy. In terms of finish, the whole garden lasted really long. I think it went down all the way, you know, to about here, which was really fantastic. Then again, for 4 75 per bottle, I'm expecting higher quality. The Edelweiss, um, very similar finish. It lasted almost to the back as well, probably a bit earlier, and then a little bit earlier, just at the, the end of my throat, and it's kind of gone. But it doesn't taste that citrusy. It was more fruity, more of a... They did say apple extract, but I still taste banana, right? There's still some banana flavor in there. So, now that I've had it side by side, I'm going to tell you that the Edelweiss isn't 95% that of the whole garden. The whole garden tastes a lot more refined. It just tastes like it's been put together very thoughtfully, very well crafted and planned. The Edelweiss um, tastes like a new beer. It tastes like they're still trying it out. Uh, and in order to mask the fact that they're trying it out, why is my can moving? It's it. And in order to cover that, that um, new beer feel, they added stronger flavors. They added stronger fruit flavors. The, the apple extract, probably a little bit excessive. So this tastes a little bit cheaper. Uh, it is, of course, cheaper. It's $3 versus $4.75, um, but it does taste it as well. That's not to say it's bad. It's probably 70% quality of a whole garden. Being 70% of this level is pretty good. But at the end of the day, if you really, really want to enjoy a wheat beer, I would still have to go with the whole garden. This, this is really well put together. Hey, thanks for watching up to this point. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, do help me click on the like button. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. And more importantly, drop me some comments. Which do you prefer, Whole Garden or Edelweiss? And let me know why. Until then, happy drinking!